I really think she is the one to beat in this moment. The surprise for me and the video that I enjoyed watching the most was my absolute favorites beyond the coastlines. These videos are so cute, they're so cool. I was blown away by the level of amazingness that these videos captured the Philippines. To me, this is like Miss Universe level. The only thing maybe that wasn't as great in all the videos across the board was the audio. Some of the audio wasn't super good and I don't know if that's because of how the girls recorded it or what happened, you know, what went on. Some of the audio was really good, others was kind of like, not so great, which I found a little bit distracting. But all in all, that's not what this is about. This is about which woman is giving us that Miss Universe, Miss Universe Philippines factor. Which girl is capturing her personality, where she's from, what she is about in her video. So I chose eight that were my favorites of the ones that are up. Of those eight, I have five that really stand out for me. So let's start with Ilo Ilo City. I feel like she has a lot of potential. The thing that I didn't like that was kind of distracting for me was the audio, which isn't really her fault. But she's very energetic, super cute. I thought her video was wonderful. And then next I have Kavite. I know Kavite is higher up on some people's lists for these videos. I feel like she she really brings like the model vibe to me, which is great. But I feel like we see that a lot from her and I would have liked to see more of like a natural, spontaneous, like not as dressed up. I think that some of that is good, but I would have liked to see a little bit more of a mixture. And I just felt like the video was quite serious because it did have serious subject matter. Yeah, that's my only, like, I know that's kind of the point of the video. So I, I'm just kind of comparing it to the other ones that were maybe a little bit more showing like the everyday rather than like the dressed up more pageant version of the girls, but still it was, she's incredible. It was an amazing video. I kind of realized I have like a top six. I have six of them bolded. So, um, okay, great. So on my list now I have Bahol. She, I thought had one of the best videos. This video, like when I was watching it, I felt like I was watching a video from a contestant for Miss Universe. I felt like this was something that could be put for like you know when you're on an airline and they show like advertisements for traveling places? I felt like this could be a video for that. Like it was so good, so well done. Her voice is honestly incredible. It's so calming, it's dreamy, I love her. I think she's so sweet, so cute. She seems very approachable and to me this is very IMG. Having that like approachable, cutesy vibe but obviously can still dress up and be glam and be like the pageant woman that she is. So I thought this was great and Bohol is so beautiful. I have not been to Bohol yet, so one day I will get there and see those hills because they are so cool. Next I have Tagig. Tagig also has a really great voice. I don't know what it is about these girls' voices, but some are really, I just, I love them. I also loved that she was teaching us about Tagig and in a way that wasn't like boring or dry, it was actually quite interesting. And the way that she worded everything of like the seeds of Tagig and that has been like the seeds to develop who she is, I really love the way she put this all together and how everything just flows very well done and really she just she has this like it factor sandra it's sandra lee remember sandra lemonon oh layton remembers she just has something about her that you want to hear more from her you want to see more from her so she is going up on my list now i have kazon city a great video, she's very polished, put together. She's a host, so I feel like that really helps her in terms of her presentation, how she speaks, what she says, how she says it. I thought she did a great job in her video. It wasn't my like number one, but I still liked it. Then I have Parankai, Parankai, Paranakai, Paranakai, Paranakai. I, I practice this so many times and here I am failing. I don't know about you guys, but I felt surprised by her because she wasn't on my radar a lot. She was definitely here and there for some of the things I've seen so far in the competition, but I'm really happily surprised with her. I just think she is so cute, so pretty. She has an amazing pageant turn. I've seen some of her walks and in the video she does a few different turns. I just think she has what it takes. I almost feel like she might not win this year, but might come back another year and take the crown, but I feel like she's a dark horse. She is someone that I didn't really see coming and now she's definitely on my radar. Sorsagon. Sorsagon is one of the most talked about contestants at Miss Universe Philippines this year. I know she's competed in 
pageants before for the title of Miss Universe Philippines before. She didn't speak English for most of her video, which I kind of loved because it was showcasing that, you know, she more of like her culture and who she is. I felt like she was one of the ones who showed the most natural part of like her in the sense of less makeup, less hair, more casual outfits as well. But I thought she did a wonderful job and it just showed more of like that everyday girl next door vibe, which I really, really love to see from her. And that brings me to my personal number one favorite. She's been my number one a few times and that is Davao City. I really think she is the one to beat in this moment. After seeing these videos, she's the one to beat for me right now. And part of why I'm saying that is because when I am watching her, when I'm listening to her, when I'm just seeing the things she's doing, I can see her at Miss Universe. And that is what I'm always looking for when I'm watching some of these girls, whether it's Miss Universe Philippines, whether it's Miss Universe Canada, whether it's even at Miss Universe, when I'm watching the girls competing for Miss Universe, I always think, who can I see as Miss Universe? So Davao City, I can see her as Miss Universe Philippines showing up to Miss Universe wherever, whenever it may be, showing up to registration day and putting on that Philippines sash. I can see it. Don't know if it'll happen, but for me right now, she's the one. I love that she showed that farm girl part of how she grew up. She's just so fresh and that is something that is so IMG. She has the different haircut, which is going to make her stand out even more at Miss Universe Philippines. She just has that fresh IMG vibe for me, especially from these videos. So I don't know what you guys think. You'll have to let me know. Another few that are standing out to me was Mandao, Mandanao, Davao, Del Norte. She's very fresh, very different. I also love Bali Ran. Bali Ran just, her video, I, I didn't like, she had contacts in and they just, they looked like too, I just wasn't a fan of the contacts. I feel like everyone can, you know, wear what they want, do what they want. I just, not a big fan. And she just is such a natural beauty. I feel like she doesn't need to like change who she is, if that makes sense. But. You know, she's still an amazing contestant, an amazing woman. Those are the other few that are standing out to me, but my absolute favorites right now would be Davao City, Sorsagon, Tagig, the whole, <laughs> they're all just so amazing. But right now, the girl to beat to me for the actual title of Miss Universe Philippines is Davao City. The surprise for me and the video that I enjoyed watching the most was Bohol. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who was your favorite from the Beyond the Coastlines videos? I can't wait to hear what you think. This to me really gave a better idea of who these women are, what they stand for, what they could potentially bring to the title in terms of spokeswomen and just the potential that they have to then go to the next level of going to Miss Universe and representing the Philippines. If you guys wanna see more from me, you know, feel free to subscribe. I know there's a few of you who haven't subscribed yet, so hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you are notified when new videos come out. We are always trying to put out more, put things out more often. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, let me know in the comments who was your favorite video from the Beyond the Coastlines video, videos, videos. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs>